how are you doing today? Excellent, Jasmine. How are you? I'm good. We are here on the Walk by Faith show with OTY TV. And this guy's a multimillionaire. He has retired twice. He has a college called Roy G. Perry College of Engineering right here at Prairie View A&M University's campus. And I mean, my goodness, that was a mouthful to say. My first question for you. As a child, you went to Brez Bay Bayou Elementary, which was segregated, and it, when you transferred into the Houston Independent School District to continue your education, the structure was that African American students had to be retained before they advanced. And this was a system because they didn't believe African American students were smart enough. They thought that we were uneducated. What was it like to grow up in that educational system? And what would you tell anyone that has all the opportunities in the world right now to take advantage of their education? Well, first of all, Jasmine, thanks. Uh, but that wasn't anything that was unique for me. In that era, all schools in America were segregated. Uh, Braves Bayou just happens to be a small school that I grew up with in Riceville, which was a Friedman community uh, just to the southwest of Houston. Now, the, the particular middle school that, that we were bused to when they uh, started you know, seg uh, de desegregation or integration, uh, they just, that faculty and staff had the idea that they could uh, prove their point by retaining every African American kid that came to the school that year. I was fortunate that I was not retained. I had a teacher who, you know, convinced my mother that if I went to summer school, I would not have to be retained. My mother paid for me to go to summer school, and I spent the summer doing dictionary drills. It was simply uh, just token racism. It mm. was their way of saying, we're going to integrate, but we're not going to do this happily. Uh, so that was a part of the that era. I mean, there are probably, you know, millions of African-American graduates who recall the day when integration and busing started and we were all immediately asked to do this again. You're just not ready. What do I say to a student that has the opportunity today to take advantage of education? You don't understand what it was like to not have an equal education. Mm. Take full advantage of it. Don't waste the opportunity. Education is the true equalizer. Uh, I think you don't want to miss any opportunity to uh, obtain an education. And like we spoke about a little earlier, I just look at so many ways that students today waste time when they're here at school. And they should, their every waking hour should be about how do I better myself, how do I grab the education. And Jasmine, I'm willing to bet if people stop doing hump day Wednesday, they could probably graduate in four years. Oh, That's our joke, but I, joke. I have an issue with that uh, use of time. You're here to obtain an education. And every student should use these hours to that purpose. You're here to get a new degree. Okay. Right. My next question to you, Roy. Yeah. What would you tell every Panther graduating here? What is your message to these productive Panthers? You know, the one thing all Panthers should do is give back. It's real simple. Prairie View's provided you with an advantage. Uh, everyone should find a way to give back. It's not about the quantity and how much money you give, it's about simply giving back. We uh, as an institution, and we as a people need to support our institutions. Prairie View has given you so much, and you won't realize how much you've gained from Prairie View until you leave this institution, go somewhere in the industry, get a job, and find out how well prepared you are. So to make this institution better for the next students coming along, give back, no matter what it is. The habit you want to learn, the behavior you want to learn, put it on your paycheck, put it on a credit card, give back every month. $20 a month, give it back. And as you advance in your career, you get a raise. Prairie you gets a raise. raise. Yeah, just give back. It's that simple. And this wouldn't be the Walk by Faith show unless I asked Mr. Perry what it means to him to walk by faith. Well, you know, you have to understand that there is something greater than you. You have to understand that your purpose here is beyond you. And you have to have had experiences that tell you it's real. Yeah. Uh, you have to know that you can find comfort, confidence, support, and help in the supreme being. Uh, when you get to the point you realize you think, I, I did this all myself and I'm all about me, get ready for that fall. There is a, there is a purpose for you being here. Uh, I always like to think that when that day comes and I get asked that question, what did you do to make it better? What happened? It was lost on your generation. 
we lost more African American men to jail than college, and you were the adult in the room. What'd you do? Mm. That's a question I want to have a better answer for than duh, I didn't do anything. And it's all about faith. Someone gave us this opportunity. We need to be prepared to give it to someone else. Mm. That's, that's pretty straightforward. You didn't get here on your own. Mm. Well, thank you guys, and this was the Walk by Faith Show. We'll talk to you later. Hey, you guys. It's Bibi, or Bijan, whatever you can say. I'm here with the pretty plug, and shout out to her doing her thing. And, yeah, I really didn't know what to say, but hey, you guys. Bye. Mm. <laughs> and this is Angelique again, guys. Styled me, beat my face again with my hair. Just got done prepping with Roy G. Perry, so it's lit. Okay, we are like T minus 30 minutes, an hour still. Like probably 40 minutes. Yeah. It's still lit. Faustine, come here, girl. Talk to us about what you're doing. And she, she's kind of like me too. She's a YouTube personality, right? Yes. Um, Talk we to are us. Here trying to, you know, we are here trying to make it, do our little thing. What's your name? Maker. Tell them where to find you. Okay. What are you doing? Y'all can find me on YouTube, Faustine the Queen. And I just recently made a new page. So, you know, I'm out here trying to do my thing with, you know, entertainment and music. So, it is kind of lit. It is a little lit. Okay, it's lead. And she looks beautiful, by the way. Oh, Her face is beat. This beat. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we're going over here to our team. I got the Chappelle show right here. Man, this is the guy behind hey, the going? like the camera. He be producing, directing, telling you, you need to scoot over, Jay. You need to scoot over. And then, okay, you got the CEO, Terrence. Terrence, are you excited about today's event? Like, like. you like, Ooh, I'm you very know, excited. I, I'm very <laughs> excited to meet Roy G. Perry. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good night. It's it good is, night. and it's like this is OTY's very first big event. Big event. Did you even know this could happen? Uh, not when I first started about it, but this year, so we don't have mm. something really is like helping me and then hurting me. <laughs> okay, maybe this direction, <laughs> right here. Um, maybe. I, you know, some look light skin, dark on the one side. But hey, oh my gosh. Man. Well, it's lit, guys, and we never just want to never not working. Never not working. Team is never not working. <laughs> All right. <laughs> guys, we have Keelan worried about the sides in which he's being recorded. How y'all doing? We here in the building. We got some excitement going on. We got Roddy Perry in an intimate early booking session that that's what PBY is here to do. We're here to create things that hasn't been done before. So a lot of people went to class today. I heard people would say they sat down with a millionaire and asked some personal questions. You think they're gonna remember that for the rest of their life? Yeah, probably will. Probably will. Probably will. And uh, Keelan, just tell us like, what is talks on the yard? Like, it's like TED Talk. Like, what is it? So I guess it's a TED Talk. It's an educational talk. It's a TV talk. But as well as it's somebody from Prairie View who has done something with his life, took him from the bottom, went to the top, and we just want to enlighten the world, enlighten everybody that hey you can do it it's possible and through talks like this annually semi-annually whenever we get a great booking we can we can give some light to everyone and show them like hey as fast as possible what do you want to do do you want to be great i do not want to be great <laughs> that's all i got for you <laughs> y'all again it's the pretty plug we've been documenting everything like and in fact, this event was not gonna be recorded, but he said we could record the last three minutes. So there's God, just walking by faith. Cola, look at Cola in the building. He's over events for OTY. He planted parties. Something happening on Spring Fest. Who, He came. For OTY, um, I don't know about that, but uh, for Tribe, yeah, there's something for we, we got somebody else from OTY in the building. Tell us who you are, girl. Tell us what you do. Here Wait, we, we gotta get in the light, girl. Okay. Girl, let us find the light, girl. <laughs> okay, okay. Hello, I'm Kiriana in HR. Okay, and what do, what do you do like with your life? Like you do hair, right? Yes, I do hair as well. I'm a stylist, mm. wig specialist. Mm, she specialized in doing the wig. Okay, can they find you on social media? 
No, it's not. It's not. It's not starting till 6 30. No, I'm saying it's getting started. Oh, okay. It's not there yet. Don't worry. It's coming. <laughs> All right, we, we'll see y'all later. Deuce, Peace. deuce. Hey, bro, you know what's in No, I got that you on You gonna cut camera. and edit that? No, 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 no. Don't matter to me. <laughs> hey, Bijana. Right there. Y'all see Bijana? <laughs> so, what's going on with you, Terry? You know, this is Champ TG. Yeah. Oh, the light skin face. So, so, what are you doing with your life? Like, what is, what's the big deal? Right now, I am in the process of starting a consultant, a media consultant business. Mm. Yeah, jack of all trades. All trades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Media consulting business. Right now, I'm looking for Craig <laughs> and the TV and the students. Okay. And uh, we're going to be launching this pretty soon. We got one client that we're working on right now. I just need some help. Like, somebody help out. If you want to be a part of a startup, Contact now, me. what do you want the people to do when ah, they start that? All right, so I really need content curation. So I need people that's building a platform on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. So storytellers, people that can come over stories and can generate something for the client. So a strategist, in the sense. Mm, yeah. Okay, and what's the company name? My head in there, huh? The company. I mean, it's your we're working so on the like, yeah, like, yeah. Maybe I should. Mm, just don't drop my baby. <laughs> We working on the company name right now. Oh, I got my partner is you know she's a jack of all trades herself, mm. so like it's hard to get her to sit down. But um, once I do get to sit down with her, I'm just launch it. We're gonna get a logo and everything. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Oh, be okay. Look out. Do you have a smile you wanna give the camera? Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> look at look That's at funny. it. Uh, I, Follow me at Champ TG mm, on Instagram yeah. and to Champ TG on Twitter. Okay, and hit him up like yeah, yeah. You're Contact an entrepreneur me. And you like trying to do big things like hit him yeah, up. Call me. And if call you're me, if me. you're a business owner and you're like I'm failing, why? People don't know about about my business. Why? What is it that I can do? You need to hit him up. He I'm knows. The I'm the man with the plan. Exactly. One me. It's profound with me. Mm. And uh content curation that's it yeah that's what mm. we're looking for mm. <laughs> uh, i want to thank you for coming on the, the pp oh, this is this is fun we gotta do this again ah you know there might be uh, another vlog you know? series coming oh, okay. you never know hmm. with the pretty clothes you just never interesting. know oh, oh how interesting ah, yeah. i don't know oh. after last night <laughs> Thank you for all of that information. We'll be cutting that out. Ah.